Hi, Mark. I've done a little bit more digging in, and I think we have an even easier way to get a count on activity, depending on what you want to look at. So this spreadsheet, which I'll send over to you, has got a couple different columns. So I've got the email subject, the number of posts, the number of web views, which I think we can ignore. It's not really meaningful. The author who initiated the discussion and the date when that discussion was begun, begun. And then I've got a final column, which is the month total, which is the number of posts that were done that month. I'm making this math happen simply by putting in here, equals sum, open bracket, and then I'm dragging and dropping and then closing. So I'll do an example here. So you'll see there was 37 posts in September. So that's you know last month. In August, you'll see there was 17. And if I want to do that math for July, I go like this. So I go just here to the final column in July, the first number basically. I go equals, sum, open bracket, and then I go through this total post and I'm just gonna drag it down through here to get so I can sum all of that stuff up like that. Close the bracket return and I will learn to actually use this formula editor at some point. So there shouldn't be a plus there, there should be an open bracket. Kapow! And you'll see that there were 43 posts in July. So if you care about it at a monthly level you can go through and follow this process or if you just care about it at an annual level you can just do the same kind of thing but a much bigger drag and drop. Hopefully that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.